And we are underway. Action is tipped off at the fourth annual PD Area All-Star. Shaman Big Cliff, host of Carolina Sports Talk, representing Crux Media Day, sitting alongside my guy, Brandon Pearson, also of Crux Media. Brandon, how you doing today, bro? I'm well. I'm well. All right. We are excited. We're expecting some really, really good matchups. This year, we've got a good group. Our first matchup of the afternoon or the morning starts off with a class of 20, 25 girls coached by a team, uh, Coach Pinkney Hall, the black team. And they are taking on the class of 2026 girls, uh, Team Jones, the white team. Uh, Brandon, we had a chance to catch up with some of the coaches last night, and um, each of them kind of echoed some sentiments that they are excited, excited for the high level of matchup that's going to be uh, taking place throughout the day. What do you, uh, I guess, as we kind of similar to do, what are you looking forward to from today's All-Star game? Well, most of the games, I'm looking forward to the highlights. To the highlights. The flashy passes, the... Alley oops, you know, that's what I come to All Star for. A couple long threes, maybe, or something yeah, like long that. Long threes, a little showboating. <laughs> you know, that's what I look for. Absolutely. Well, we, we, we got a wonderful, wonderful lineup. Uh, I'm going to give you kind of a heads up. The class 2024, excuse me, 25 is highlighted. We've got Lauren Middleton from Cross High, Jada Davis from Marion High School, Tiana Perry from Loris High, Brooke Mitchell from Hartsville High. Leonissa Swinton, representing right here in Florence. Wilson High, our, spon our host of the day. Emily McCall from Andrew Jackson High. Janaya Richburg from Loris. DeEssence Graham from Carver's Bay. Celise Kine from Trinity Collegiate. Zyra Spann from Lamar High School. Eliza Baskins from Lancaster. And also from Lancaster, Kimarja P. All of these young ladies have enjoyed a regular uh, modicum of success throughout the season and definitely looking forward to seeing what they're going to be able to bring forth today. Definitely, definitely. So as we see, we've got some early action with our guest team up to, to nothing. 18 minutes and four seconds left in this first. Good turnover. Absolutely. we got number one for the class of 2025. Uh, Jada Davis out of Marion High School. Looks comfortable in the ball. Down low. We've got number 14. Foul. Just missed the shot. Headed to the line. Shooting two. It's number 14, Janaya Richburg out of Loris High School. She's the leading rebounder for her team, even at a medium height. So definitely looking forward to her presence down low. Now, you uh, got a chance to call a lot of these games. Uh, do you recognize the, any other players, any of these young players? Absolutely. As you, as you said, that number 13 right here, Emily McCall, uh, playing the point guard. Mm -hmm. you, now, not to be biased and or stereotypical, but when you look at her, she doesn't look like a prototypical point guard for the women's game. I mean, she's uh, one of the shortest on the court, so a exactly point guard. Um, but she's got a motor that, uh, that was impressive. I had the chance to um, call a game out in Rock Hill, South Carolina, with mm -hmm. Andrew Jackson coming up to South Point. And just like I mentioned, that motor and her, her just basketball IQ was highly impressive. It's no surprise that she is in this position here in, in this All-Star game. Uh, she represented her squad well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, averaging about 12.9 points per game. Mm. Had a really, really great season. So um, her and a couple other ones, there's actually one of the South Point Stallions here representing the class of 2026. And as a matter of fact, let's got highlight that squad now while we've got 15 uh, Miss Destin's Graham at the line. We've got... Highlighting the 2026 girls team, team the white team, Leah Spears out of Wilson High School, Zoe Miller also out of Wilson, Jalen McMurray out of Darlington High, Malia Williams from Marion, the aforementioned Morgan Young, South Point's bright budding star, uh, Ayana Alexander out of Andrew Jackson also, Yaya Tinsley, uh, Teasley out of Trinity Collegiate, who... Man, I tell you what, when she gets that ball in her hand, she is something serious, mm -hmm. even with her size, man. Yeah, so definitely go. excited. That's what Big I like three. to see right there. I can't see what's the number on the back of that. She's back on the defense so quick, but love to see that light up three. Rounding out the class of 2026, Jalen Williams from Sumter High, Autumn Kind from Trinity Collegiate, and Tiana Drawn from Hemingway High. You see them fighting, even in an all-star game, you love to see that type of defense where they're getting low, getting to the ground, and just... Going with going for the ball, man. I love to see that tenacity. Good defense by number one. A lot of defense. A lot of mm -hmm. defense. Mm. Oh. Just missed it. So in an all-star game like this, what, what, how much of the continuity of kind of 
knowing your teammates and anti- being able to anticipate their moves and or the lack of that, how much do you think that actually carries into or uh, affects these all-star players? It depends on like the, the type of game that they're playing. Okay. They're going slower. It really wouldn't affect it as much. The faster you play, you sometimes you make a pass anticipating a person to maybe cut in, a person may cut out or whatever. And so you, you know that miscommunication that you would have on your regular teammates. Um, you'll be able to kind of guess what they would do based on their, their habits. Mm-hmm. Even like on an outlet pass like we see here, knowing how fast somebody may or may not be. Good defense. Number 36, center Autumn Kine out of Trinity Collegiate. No sooner than we can call her name than she out here showing that defensive tenacity. And I guess the ref is just going to let them play today. <laughs> <laughs> so, so a little, not a not little bit too much man, contact for you? That was, a, that was a personal file in football. <laughs> in football. <laughs> well, she actually didn't get away with that one, and she's called for the foul down low. Coming back over this side, oh, too. Oh, so they did get called for it. Okay. Well, no, it was uh, just afterwards. Okay. She blocked another shot down low, or actually a pass coming in. Picking up the dribble. We've got number eight to the top. Jalen McMurray. One of the things that I think will help her with the next elevation of her game, her being Autumn Kind, is to get more touches up at the top and to be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. We, we see in a, in a lot of the college and even into the pros, the transition of the bigs, um, play, playing that point five, if you would, being just up top. Well, it's got a steal coming back the other way. Oh, what a steal. So quick pocket, got some subs coming in. One thing I, uh, I think that's kind of slowing down the pace of the game is they're playing the zone, both teams mm-hmm. playing the zone, so you don't get as much action. Right, right, right. Several of the coaches uh, discussed it yesterday, though, that they are looking to highlight, have some fun, and, and put some big names out there, a big put on a show, but they definitely want to win, too. We, we, we're excited at this. The coaches are, even though, you know, the players are the all-stars, coaches are, too, and so they, they, they look at to still have that winning nature that so many of them have enjoyed throughout their seasons as well. And as we see here, we've got uh, subs coming in in an all-star true format. We want to make sure that all the players get an opportunity to be highlighted. Now I'm telling you what I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, Morgan Young, um, her season was cut a little bit short. Um, she tried to make a comeback for the playoffs, but a knee injury definitely took some of her time this year. I'm trying to Looking forward to seeing if she's back to her her true spry nature. As you see her on the ball right now, she's just, she's a defender who just has a nose for the ball. We got a three, mm. just a little short. Rebound to the class of 2026 as they're pushing it back. Ooh, hey, it's That's not it. a call if you get away with it. I'm sorry. So with the euro, it's a little bit coming back for the 26 class, pushing it up back. Got some defenders up black. I love to see the the pressure up front. Just stop the ball. If if you know that. You may not have the numbers if they've got a teammate down here on the other side. Put pressure on them and stop the ball. Foul on number 17, uh, Zyra Spann. There you go. Let it fly. A little strong on the three. Oh. Got away with another travel here, but you know. Now, you and I had the opportunity at the uh, Red Fox Classic. It's kind of our, I guess, running thing at that time, a point to kind of tally the, the, the travels. Yeah, yeah. Do we expect a lot of, ooh, off the glass, beautiful move. Do we, we expect a lot of travels in an all-star game or? Well, we have a different crew. This is true. So. That. <laughs> wow, good catch. This is tight. I love it. Mm. Caught on a hand by number two, Tiana Perry. 
headed to the line shooting two for the class of 2026 is number 30 Jalen Williams out of Sumter High School Gamecock squad uh, has had a pretty decent season this year pretty good this is the first checking into the game we've got number 11 for the class of 2025 Brooke Mitchell Hartsville High School Yeah, Sumter has uh, some notable basketball players to come out of there. Most notably, of course, Mr. Ja Morant, current NBA player. Yeah, from Chriswell, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Now, you want to talk about a dog in high school. See, that's got a turnover coming back the other way. Ja was just always had a high motor. I don't think I expected him to be what he is now, but, um, yeah, he's always had a really high motor as well. Mm -hmm. From Indeed. Coming from his pops, who ball player himself, played at Claflin University, Orangeburg, South Carolina. Oh, good fake out, line foot on the line. Out of bounds, touching the apparatus. Coming back to the class of 2026. Or 25, rather. And his father was a high school teammate of Ray Allen. Mm -hmm. Now, being around basketball just pretty much your whole life, He's got a three flying from 28. Missed it to the left. Eliza Baskins with that miss. Being around basketball players and just the game and then those who love it at an early age, how much does that plant the seed of that le next level of greatness for you? And how much do you think it's a de determining factor for greatness? I mean, I'm pretty, with, with anything, you know, if you're around a certain profession, you kind of, um, You kind of um, inclined to get into that also in any capacity, mm -hmm. playing, coaching, and be into that uh, area of uh, of, profe of the profession. So, absolutely, um, absolutely. Ooh, wow, good take steal. away. Yes, got Tiana Perry pushing it down. Shot, got to hit the shots. Way to clear out. Out of bounds, should be black ball. Got 11 minutes left here in the first. Score is 4-4. Tied with the class of 25 taking on the class of 26. As we got a bucket down low. Shot number 29. Kimarja Pay, Lancaster. Okay. Wait, I'm not cause a foul. Good pass. Yeah. And out. Uh. Oh, good pass. There you go. Good pass by number 28, Eliza Baskins with the payoff. Down low with Camarjo Bay. They're leaving it open for uh, down low for Jalen Williams. Let's see if she's able to connect on one of these coming up soon. Big flying rebound, stripped down low by number two. Out of bounds, headed back to class of 2025. One of the challenges that I can only imagine for uh, the head coaches is in monitoring and, and, and being able to Keep players fresh. Make sure you get everybody a chance to be highlighted and spotlight. But um, definitely, definitely a challenge to know these players and know who kind, who has what kind of tank and what kind of motor to be able to know when when to sub in and not. Now we know with this All Star format here at the PD area, every five minutes you want to try to rotate to get some new players in. But um, definitely, it's an interesting wrinkle and challenge for the coaches to be able to, to know who's the personnel and when to go. We've got a big three by number 28, Eliza Baskins. 
time out on the floor. I, I like the five minute sub thing. I really don't. Personally, I'd I rather rather them play a uh, man to man defense, mm. so you can kind of see their talents one on one. Um, just because it's an all star game. I got you. Uh, it's a showcase, so I want to see how everybody does individually. Um, but like you said, it is a different wrinkle adding the five minutes. Um, Absolutely. And I think it's something to keep the clock moving, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm certain. We've got a full slate of games today with the class of 2026 taking on the 2025 girls. We've got the class of 2025 boys, Team Harris, taking on Team Knox. We have got the class of 2024 girls, Team Bennett, taking on Team Williams. 2024 boys, Team Troy, taking on Team Council. And then in the class of 2023 girls, Team Zimmerman taking on Team Fair. And then in our main event, our class of 2023 boys, Team Mez taking on Team Wright. Whole lot of basketball to be played throughout the day, and we're excited to see these matchups continued out. Again, this is the PD Area All-Star Classic. Shaman Big Cliff sitting alongside Brandon Pearson, Crux Media. Crux Media is our sponsor for today, so we're excited to be able to bring you all of the action from throughout today's events. For more, check out the website, or you can just do a Google search, Crux Media, and get all of your podcast news. Crux Media. Got a turnover down low. There you go. Good ball movement. Good movement Let with the ball. Fly. There you go. Xavion Robinson. Excuse me. That was Jada Davis. My apologies. I'll tell you what. Jada looks like she knows what she's doing with the ball in her hands, even though she missed that shot. There you go, Morgan. We call this down. game the Apple game. The Apple game, why you do that? It's they... full of turnovers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I know it's corny, but hey. Listen, but it's it's just appropriately enough. I will say, I guess with it being got a three flying, going a little wide. She adjusted the shot a little bit, took her off mark. We got a foul. Foul is on number 15. And that's going to be the essence Graham out of Carver's Bay. Headed to the line, shooting two. He's at number 27. Yaya Tinsley out of Trinity Collegiate. Misses on the first. Now, both of these squads are a little bit younger, but in fact, the black team, um, they, they're, they're one year young, uh, older, rather. How much do you think in an all-star game, having that extra year of experience plays into it? In an all-star game, I mean, at this point, even with the younger team, they've played in, you know, big a crowds. full season, yeah. And it's basically, you know, it should be just a fun time. No pressure. <laughs> so it's easy to say that I guess on this side But even with the intensity of the screens that are being set Morgan letting it fly for three just short Same team uh -oh. Jump ball I think she called first <laughs> <laughs> Possession arrow favors the class of 2026 20, 20, 25 Heading down for the black squad. There you go. Wow. Mm. Got a foul down low. Headed to the line shooting two. We got number 14, Janiah Richburg. Let 
is his first substitution coming into the game for the class of 2026, number 36, the center, Autumn Kind. Gonna give number 27, uh, Yaya, a little breather. Over here, DJ seems to be getting into his bag a little bit back there. <laughs> yeah. Near turnover, just call it travel, call it trip. Foul is on number one. Jada Davis, call for the trip. We've got five minutes and 33 seconds left on the clock. We've got the black team. Up 16-7. Mm, a little oh, strong with the lead, but it. number 15, the essence Graham back with the follow. So how much? Now, one, we've had conversations about uh, the shoe game and, and which, you know, which sneakers you're gonna wear coming into a game. Where do you, where are you, I guess, with the numbers that you can, that you are you looking to wear your regular number in an All Star, or do you, do you, are you looking to get like maybe like an alternate identity type thing going on? It depends on the on the level of All Star game. Okay. You know, if I get a, if I got a choice, I'm gonna try to wear my number. Okay. My number, the number that I always wear is normally. Um, unique. So, especially in a sport like basketball and baseball, you got um, some meaning to you. No, it's just my. It was the first number I ever got playing a sport. So, okay. And what, what is that number? Fifty-one. Okay. So if I play basketball, I'm looking for fifty-one. If I play baseball, I'm looking for fifty-one. Thirty is my number, man. Thirty was your number? Yeah. So it's first basketball, number baseball too. Um, and then football, when, when the limited time I was at fullback, I was at number 30. Yeah. Uh, but then the rest of the time I was 75 for football. But yeah, three's always been my number anyway. So yeah, 30 is my number. But yeah. what made me ask was looking at the back of the jersey, and there's just something special about the number eight on the back of a jersey, man. I'm um, sitting there taking a look at Jalen McMurray out of Darlington High School, as, as some would say, the D. But uh, that number eight on the back of a basketball jersey is always going to be something special for me. Oh. Oh. So when you think of Kobe, you think eight or you think twenty-four? I think eleven. <laughs> and if you want to uh, hear why I think eleven, check out a uh, Carolina Sports Talk. Mm. Um, I was a guest on there, and they did a top basketball players list. 
And uh, Kobe fell right under the out of the top 10 for me. He was at number 11. Shout out to Steph Curry, number 30. <laughs> Uh, as the host of Carolina Sports Talk, that traumatizing event was actually just stricken from my memory that you would be as <laughs> blasphemous to take Kobe Bean Bryant out of any top 10 in basketball. It instantly devalidates your list. I'm sorry. I, I had good reason. You got to take your heart out of it. You got to take your heart out of it. If I take my heart out of it, sir, my eyes still remain. My mind still remains. And for what I've witnessed, or for what I witnessed, during his legendary Laker career, there is in no way, shape, or form that Kobe Bryant is not a top 10 player. There in is the game a of way. There's a shape and a form. <laughs> 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 oh, good steal. Avoiding the contact. Finds the outlet. Number five coming up. Oh, good oh, block. Big 28 with the block. Eliza Baskins. Lancaster High School with the block. A la LeBron. Yeah, y'all, y'all might have to go back. We might have to have you back on the show, uh, be easy, just to kind of discuss that blasphemy, man. Big three. On the other side, big three on return, number 20. And now the pace is sped up. I like that. Eliza Baskins. They are kind of, I guess they may be a little bit loose now. Yeah. Been subbed in and out a couple of times. We are seeing, okay, back. got another turnover. There you go. Get it back. Ooh, with the hero. Mm. One thing we do hope to avoid is any, um, ooh. And steal. Foul, headed to the line, shooting two. One thing we definitely want to avoid is any injuries in, in, a, in an all-star showcase like this. We want these players to go and play at a high level and to, to perform and do their thing, but definitely want to avoid any injuries as some of them may be playing in the, just period, but any best, any summer ball, any AAU, anything. Definitely want to avoid some injury. All right, she connects on the first. She being Malia Young Williams from Marion High School. Misses on the second. Rebound outlet. Like you said, they, the black squad seems to be increasing the pace. Ooh, left a little short on the three. Mmm. Ooh. Yeah, they definitely letting them play a little bit. Out of bounds, stays with black. When I miss those kinds of shots, I always say stuff like, they got too much air in the ball. It's, you know, it's never my fault. The rim never. is too it, tight. It's some extracurricular. Yeah. <laughs> Jump ball called. Possession arrow favors the class of 2025. Four, excuse me, 26, coming back the other way in the white. One minute left, it's 15 to 28, class of 25, up on top to 26. This is the PD Area All-Star Classic. Big Cliff sitting next to Brandon Pearson. Crux Media. Twenty-nine called with the foul. Kimarja Pay, Lancaster High. Team didn't appear to be in a bonus, although it didn't appear we're also keeping account of the fouls. <laughs> Could arc, but seem like it. This is long a little bit. Number Thirty headed to the line, shooting two. Jalen Williams. One of the things that's it's interesting to see is at this young age having <laughs> these young adults. Uh, with things you can see that will be coached out of them. Mm -hmm. um, and so excited to see the growth and in, in, in opportunity, but definitely high motors all around. Well, we must be opening a window or something. I don't know what's going on. Got some breeze. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh. She missed both of them. Oh. What was that? Out of bounds. Staying down here. 26. <laughs> nice. Three. C to three. B to three. B to three. See if they hold for the final shot. Mm. No shot. Scored to half is 28 18. We'll be back to you in just one moment with the action. And we are back with second half action, 28-20, class 2025 up on top. It's your man, Big Cliff, host of Carolina Sports Talk, sitting alongside Brandon Pearson, Crux Media. <laughs> Brandon Pearson. Brandon, how you doing today, man? You, you enjoying the basketball so far, bro? Yeah, like my grandma used to say, Branham. Bra <laughs> Branham Pearson. Yeah. Yeah, it's good fun, good fun today. Definitely. Um, was worried about the crowd today. It was a little rainy. Mm -hmm. It started a little storming, so but uh, got a little crowd out here early. Definitely, definitely. Like you said, high level of basketball also being played. One of the things I like to see is, is, is follow through. Players that give the extra effort. If you noticed, even on that miss just now, um, class of 2025 guard number two, Tiana Perry. She, she went, put up her shot, and immediately went to follow it. Wasn't sure if it was going in, but made that effort. I, I love to see that, especially in an all-star game like this. Just shows the tenacity and, and the grit that these young players possess. Yeah. Mm. You, can make, you can make a lot of stuff happen hustling. Mm -hmm. Getting back on defense, crashing the boards. Absolutely. Following your shot, like you just mentioned. The little things. Good contest. As the coach just yells out, follow your shot. <laughs> Let's go, Morgan. Mm. Nice block. Ooh. A little contact after the shot. <laughs> Bail her out, though. Had to let her head to the line. Number one, Jada Davis. I'll tell you what, man. We've these, these all-star lineups here and even the remaining of the day, the lineups we have, we've got some great basketball players throughout the state of South Carolina, man. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And the 
misses the second. Rebounded. Oh, same team. Wow, she almost went the wrong way. <laughs> Big three. Locked and loaded. Number 28, Eliza Baskins. You don't need to follow that. Nah. Just get back up the court like that. That's it. <laughs> no one, no one would have known that she was about to run back up the other end until she made that face. But and she, but if you notice, uh, one thing we, I just realized, her coach was telling her, "Get back, get back." But the coach said, "Oh, wait, we switched." <laughs> oh, so the coach said it too. <laughs> oh man. Listen, it's still early yet. That's all to it. Love the defense, defense press. That's one of the things that this class of 2025 girls team has been really, really, really pressing um, and showing some Ooh, defense yeah. nasty as we got a big block there at my number 16, Celise Kind, bringing it back up the other way. Does she see it? Mm. There you go. And she gets the pick pocket. Taken back by 28. Thought about the three. Sees the, mm, sees the teammate down low. That's too easy. Mm. It was literally too easy. She needed a hand in the face to hit it. Oh. Got a little collision. We'll take a moment while she's down. Got in the schnoz. Yeah, you get hit in the nose sometimes. You start sneezing. But Listen, just, <laughs> making an ugly face. Why is that a defense mechanism for your nose? You get hit in it and you just start sneezing. Chew something here ain't supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Gonna get that out. Okay, so they switched up the man to man. There you go. Mm, good pass. And, and the, one. And the damage. Got our five minute subs coming in. So, you mentioned that you've had an opportunity to play in an all star game before. Yeah, I was <laughs> one of the best in the league. What, what was that experience like for you playing with players that you hadn't played? Maybe some of you knew, some of you didn't. What was that overall like for you? Uh, it was fun being recognized. Um, me and a couple of my teammates made made the team, so um, it was fun. It was fun. Okay. Just to be recognized by, you know, everybody in the league that you were one of the best players that year at your position or whatever. So, Word. Um, it was very fun. As I talked about earlier, line up for the three. Missing short. She's a facilitator. I, I will definitely say that of Emily. Um, missed short on that three, but her ability to see the floor mm -hmm. is impressive, especially as short as she is. Um, I, I just overall I love to see see her play. Mm, out of bounds. Staying down this end. The only way to stop that move was to foul. Literally. I'll tell you what, uh, throughout the, as we look through the audience, you see several head coaches, including the state championship winning head coach over at Camden High. And you see Loris' head coach. A lot of these player, coaches checking out their players. Some maybe you know, scouting some competition from next year, but mm -hmm. a lot, lot of faces from around the state of South Carolina on display here in the crowd today.
Three lined and locks. Three point. Pulling the class of 2026 within 10. Oh, a little hook. Mm, Mr. Short. Good rebound. Lines for the three. Miss. A lot of offensive rebounds. Definitely. I would, I would love to be able to see what the rebounding numbers look like, but it's, it appears that, again, that motor just playing it on another turnover. Watch your forward. Oh. Good pass. A favoritism shown here by the commentators, but it's all good. <laughs> it's an all-star game, so you don't have to be exactly, unbiased. <laughs> and I, that's not even my school, so, you know, I like good basketball. Oh, I guess, yeah. I guess technically I shouldn't be doing that, but. Lane violation, no basket. That's one of the things I did uh, see an increase of throughout the year this season with multiple different crews where if you even, like, you know, they would do the wobble, like, oh, I'm almost a fall. If too much of you came over that, if your toe came over that line, they were calling lane violation. Oh, they calling it. Yeah. Maybe that was a um, focus. Mm -hmm. I, it's got to be. I'll tell you what, we're definitely looking forward over the summer we're, um, to be... Uh, Having some interviews with several different folks from around the states and coaches. We're hoping to even get possibly one with the superintendent of the SEHSL High School League just to kind of check the current temperature of high school sports in the state of South Carolina. Well, if the temperature is anything like in the building today, <laughs> then it's hot. It's hot. Red hot. At the line shooting two, number five. Like they must have their uh, uh, AC on a, a, a season timer. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> it don't come on. It starts coming on in April. Now nah, it's baseball. Y'all need to go out to the diamond. <laughs> Could speed with the ball in her hand. Number fourteen, Janiah Richburg. Good ball movement. About the class of 25. Maybe we could tell the organizers of the event. Maybe they didn't pay for the AC package. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want the AC or you want the video board? <laughs> yeah, you, you can't get both. <laughs> <laughs> the ball's still live and out of bounds. White ball. Yeah. 
2002. Hands up, hands up! <laughs> Always fun to see when the refs have fun alongside with the coaches. Mm, good block. The out, out the pass a little too long. Coming back to the class of 2026. This is the PD area all star. Showcase here, hosted at Wilson High School in Florence, South Carolina. Big Cliff sitting alongside Brandon Pearson, Crux Media. We've got 9.50 left with the class of 2025. Up over the class of 2026, 40 to 28. I'll tell you what, if 26 wants to make a run, this may be the time. It seems like, they, they, although the size is still there, the speed may not be as tenacious as it was. But this is the time for the 26 class to let it fly. And in true fashion, left it a little short, a little long, rather. And one. Gives a little body. Gives a little body and... Uh, Makes the shot. Definitely. 29 heading to the line. Kimar Pay, Lancaster High for the and one. The Lancaster High boys squad fell just short a little bit in the state playoffs this year. Losing actually in the championship game. I want to give a shout out to Coach Jay Cawthon and that, that Bruins squad, man. They played some good basketball throughout the year. Got a little step back action. Big three. Number five. Tiana Drawn out of Hemingway High School. <laughs> Jump ball. Possession arrow favors class of 2026. Also led by number one, Jada Davis. Nothing easy. Ooh, a little over the back action, but they're letting the play. Same. Same time. Mm, got a trip. Much air in the ball. <laughs> Good. Good try. Yeah, I like what she was trying to do. I like where her head was there. Talking about bias a little bit earlier, I, I am uh, pleased to see my South Point stallion. She looks good. Uh, She's got the, just the sleeve brace on her knee, but she's moving 
with a little bit more of that fluidity that she had before the injury. So definitely mm. glad to see that. Looking forward to her next year. Letting them threes ring. Mm. Stay front, Good for her. Stay front. That's ball handling by number five. Tiana Drawn. Line up for the three. Mm. Rims out. Out of bounds. Headed back to the class of 2025. 641 left. 43, 31, 25 on top, 26. Mm. Turnover and turned back again. Oh, fell on top of the foul. I'm in the mood for a glizzy. You come to a basketball game, you know, a sporting event, just want to get a glizzy. So, uh, <laughs> you open the door, sir. Let's go ahead and walk through it. Now, are you a uh, exclusively barbecue kind of glizzy guy, or is it uh, you can do the microwave boiled variety? No, we don't, well, however, you know, as long as it's all beef. Yeah, I don't like, you know, mixed meat or uh, ball. Uh, Beef on my meat, beef. Um, yeah, you know, chili, light ketchup, light mustard. Okay, okay. I'm from the south, so we do coleslaw. We get yes. the coleslaw in there. Coleslaw is an underrated glizzy topic. Yeah, it is. Topping. I mean, yeah. those who have not yet experienced it, you, you are truly missing. And for those uninformed, glizzies are just a uh, slang. Slang term slang terminology for hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, speaking of Glizzy, we did an interview. Uh -oh. oh, she went down. Okay. Did an interview with a player that actually was spotlighted here last year. Uh, the detective, Mr. Jamie Maldowney, oh, who just con con uh, completed his first year in college basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, he talked about when he was overseas playing with the Irish national team mm -hmm. that. They had a whole lot of glizzies for lunch over there, oh. for whatever reason. Jump ball. The glizzy gobblers. <laughs> and to know that internationally, all around the world, that glizzies were on displays. Mm. I'm sure that Oscar Meyer somewhere is smiling right now. Um, Got a turnover coming to the 2025. She takes it all the way. Number 16, Celise Kine out of Trinity Collegiate. Yeah, it's, it's, I wonder how they eat them over there, though. Because, like, in different places they have, they do different things. Like, I was in Chicago, and they put, like, the pickle the pickle in there and, you know, different stuff. So, I wonder how they, you know, up north, they put the sauerkraut in it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. never tried it. Here in the south, there is a high school. that um, The name slips my mind, but it's in one of the little rural areas. And apparently one of the things that they do is they have... Bird dogs, bird glizzies, if you would, where they take a elongated chicken strip, mm -hmm. grill it like you would, just like a regular regular glizzy, put it in the bun. Ooh, ooh, big block, number fourteen, Janaya Richburg out of Loris High School, using all of her big frame there, standing there uh, five nine. Reject that one. But yeah, so they take it, cover it with some cheese sauce, a little honey mustard, and then they top it with bacon. And apparently the kids go crazy for it. Sounds like cholesterol. <laughs> What's the difference from that in a regular glizzy? Cheese and bacon and what else they put on? Honey mustard. Honey mustard. Mm -hmm. So they had the grilled ones in there. Of course, I had the fried ones too, but uh, those kids were going crazy behind it, man. Mm. Being one who doesn't eat uh, pork or beef, though, my, my glizzies have to be turkey, all turkey. Oh, you don't eat beef? Beef or pork, no, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. My condolences, my brother. <laughs> I don't miss it at all. So it's not that I've never eaten. Big three. Mm, missed it long. Rebound by Emily, pushing it down. Finding him. Good try. Oh. Almost got the... Veteran there. <laughs> Got out of the way in the nick of time. Thank you for your service, sir. Watch the hot 
There's three minutes left in the half. Oh, uh, uh, in the, the game. game. Yeah, in the game. Yeah, this is definitely a different uh, officiating crew because that yeah, was a trap. Yeah, oh, very much so. They might have called two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, she's coming back. Tough angle. Mm, good move. So one of the things that I'm, I'm enjoying being able to see is that although they are up, they're not they're not taking the foot off the off the pressure. We need that middle. Off the gas. That's, yes. That. Yep. That would. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're a team. I got you. <laughs> got a foul down low. Speaking of food, we got to uh, enjoy some good food last night. Oh yeah. Um, from I think it's Woodstone. Mm -hmm. Big three lined Knocks it down Three pointer by number it, Number nine Westwood Barbecue in Hartsville Okay Yeah they provided some chicken and ribs Can't go wrong with a good rib Listen and Although I don't partake it in them They definitely look good Yeah they did so if you guys are anywhere in the Florence area, make sure you check out Hartsville. In Hartsville area, pardon. Make sure you check out Westwood. Get some good barbecue down there. Their sauce, you can tell it's made fresh. Yep. There was some good vinegar base, a little mustard base out there as well. Chicken was good, so take the family out down to Westwood. Get you some barbecue for dinner. Yeah, 604 Bubble Newsome Highway. Got our phone number for them too. Uh, no, I don't have a phone. <laughs> Ooh, good movement. Watch your back. Watch your back. 16. All of them might be doing one. Hmm. Following through with the contact. Still knocking it down. Nia Richburg out of Loris. Coming in for the sub. Down 15, less than a minute left. Less than a minute, I'm jacking. I'm just saying. Ooh. Hey, Tackle from the back. Forty-six seconds left. Class of twenty-six seems content and just letting the clock run. Good hands by number nine. 29 seconds left. Oh, good block. Wow. Listen, and she is the class of 2025. She, mm. Basket's good. Gonna be is the final 55 class of 2025, 40 class of 2026. We'll be back with you in just a few moments with our next game of today's matchup here at the PD Area All Star Classic.